SmartNewsTutorials.com. This is Eric. Today we're going to look at Grab, which is an application that comes with Mac OS X. And uh, we get a quick look first before I show you how to find it. First, I launched it, and you'll see there's a capture menu, and you have selection, window, screen, or a time screen. And we're going to go through all of these today in this tutorial. So now let me go ahead and close it down, and I'll show you where you can find it. What you got to do is you got to dig into your Applications folder. And in the Applications folder, there is a Utilities folder. Inside the Utilities folder, you'll find Grab right in there. So what I would do is just drag that straight into my dock. And so I could use it for later later uh, things. And first, let's go ahead and capture the screen. This box will appear. It says click outside the screen, and it'll capture the whole screen. And that's what it did. It captures it in a TIFF format. So when you save it, it's a .tiff file. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, it's just a full screen capture. Then I'm going to go ahead and save it and name it Screen Capture 001, I believe. After that, we're actually going to look at the selection tool under the caption menu, which basically allows you to uh, draw a box around the area you actually want to capture. So we're going to go ahead and go into the selection, and the window will pop up and say drag basically make a box around the area that you wanna you wanna capture. I'm gonna do a little bit bigger than this window so you can kinda have an idea. Again it saves it in TIFF format. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and close it and not save it here just to show you. After that we're gonna go ahead and capture this this window here. So you click on capture and then you say window and then it's going to say choose window and then you click on any window you want and it captures that window perfectly. So it's perfect for screencast tutorials or capturing the iPhone simulator in the, if you're a developer and you want a nice picture of, the, of your app in the iPhone. Last but not least we're going to do timed which is basically start timer and it captures the whole desktop. So this is good but uh, if you want to be selective about it, which what I would recommend you do is you just capture it, and then if you need it to crop it, you just open up in preview and crop to what you want to see or desired picture. And you can watch my previous tutorial to see how that how to do that. Thanks a lot for joining us. We are smartertutorials.com.